The video we are about to watch today is named Failed Weight Loss YouTuber Becomes Morbidly Obese. Up front, well, I can guess from the title that there's some YouTuber that is trying to lose weight. Um, it might not work. I'm, uh, uh, let's read what it says. Amberly Raid, creator her own, creator, her, no. Created her channel to document what was supposed to be an epic weight loss journey. Instead, the audience saw nothing but drama and cat catastrophe as Amberly Raid almost doubled her body weight. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Knut is the perfect person to react to this video, am I? I will try to po point out all the traps she's falling into everything as good as i can come up maybe with suggestions. i will as i said during this video we can discuss or i can come up with and point out mistakes that they're doing maybe Maybe uh, we, we, what we should have changed. Amblin Reed created her channel to document what was supposed to be an epic weight loss journey. My name's Amber Lynn and I wanted to start a YouTube channel for weight loss. Instead, the audience saw nothing but drama and catastrophe as Amblin almost doubled her body weight with her brutal transformation beginning when she'd weigh in during her very first video. I did my weigh in. I was 368.0. 368. Back in November 2013. Double that weight. Okay, that that is going from being to something something insane. Oh. Amblin's courageous ability to share this vulnerable information led to an instant fan base of approximately 200 subscribers, along with positive comment after positive comment on every single. Never lose hope. Never lose hope. I wish you the best. You're a cutie. Keep making accountability videos. They can be so helpful. I can tell you. Uh, have a ton of positive energy. So glad you made the channel. I can't wait to follow you on your journey. Nice comments. Video. But while everybody was rooting for Amberlynn, only seven days after uploading her first video, there were already signs that her weight loss journey was going to end in disaster as she'd post her first weekly weigh-in explaining that she hadn't lost any weight. My weigh-in was 368.0 last week. My weigh-in today was 368.0. So I stayed the exact same. The other thing that became obvious Obvious in this video was that Amblin had no desire to sacrifice for her goal. When it comes to Thanksgiving, no, I will not be counting calories, if any of you are wondering. No, I will not even be thinking about my health that day. I'm just not gonna think about my weight. And she had a defeatist attitude toward her weight loss journey. I don't have willpower like I used to. I remember the days where I was down three pounds a day, but I'm never gonna be that again. Okay, but why would you even start a weight loss channel if you don't have to, want to sacrifice anything and when it comes to what, what day was she talking about thanksgiving okay have the thanksgiving one day without counting calories doesn't matter that one day and then go back to the dead but what what, what was she doing that week that's that's a question i uh, Wonder. It's safe to say that this unconfident mindset was doing her no favors, as one week later, she'd upload another weigh-in video revealing that she'd actually gained weight. This week has been my most indulgent binging week I have ever had. I weighed in at 371.0. <laughs> the most binging week. Uh before she'd talk about her solution to fix this, which was not to eat healthier, but rather to change the day on which she weighed herself. I will be weighing on Thursdays now, and by this Thursday, I hope to be down three pounds. It should be simple. While Amberlynn concluded by stating that losing another three pounds should be simple, she'd once again gain weight in the week that followed. I've been having a lot of issues with saying no to certain foods. So I did my weigh-in. I was up 2.8. Every time I weigh in, I'm like not losing. I don't know what to do. With the trend continuing, 
doing into the week after that. But I stepped on the scale and saw 377. My first reaction was, what? That can't be right. I stepped on it a few other times, which I normally do, and it all said the same thing. I definitely know how to gain some weight. It was obvious that Amblin's weight loss journey wasn't going to plan, and while almost every comment remained positive, her failure to lose weight resulted in her very first hater, who should foolishly dedicate an entire video. Okay, but it's pretty clear that she's not doing shit to lose weight. She made a vid. She, the only thing she started with was weighing herself once a week. Nothing else other than that. No changes. If you don't change anything, your results will probably be the same as it was, right? Video two. This person is beating me up so bad with their words, saying that since I started this channel, I'm actually up weight. However, Amblin had a plan to prove this hater wrong. Yeah, but you were up weight. As one week later, she'd upload a video providing an outline for the weight she wanted to get down to by the end of the year. Oh, she was My one resolution guy. is to reach 299 pounds. I think I was 11 when I weighed 290 pounds, and ever since then, I have never seen that number two at the beginning of my weight. After posting this video, Amblin began to make progress instantly. So my weigh-in yesterday was 377.0. My weigh-in today was 3. 376.4, so that's down 0.6. And would announce five months later that she'd lost an impressive 28 pounds. It feels really freaking good to be so on track. I'm in the 340s, no more 350s. Nice. Although throughout the rest of the year, Amberlynn's discipline began to slip. I spent the last three weeks eating whatever I wanted. Yes, I have gained 13.8 pounds in the last couple of months. And by the end... So she's basically just steady state, up and down a little bit. It, it is hard to give any advice here because we don't know what she's doing other than not doing anything. The year, rather than being down to her goal of 299, she was instead back to 377 pounds. That was my weigh in, 377.0. The exact same weight that she was at the beginning of the year. Yet in retrospect, this loss of zero pounds seems quite favorable as only four months later, she'd make an announcement that ultimately caused her weight gain to spiral out of control. Amblin uploaded a video titled Going Through a Breakup, explaining that her four year relationship had slowly fallen apart, which was followed by a different video only two days later, explaining that the scale couldn't even weigh her anymore as she'd become heavier than 420 pounds. The fact that the scale wasn't reading me because I reached 420 again or around there, it absolutely hurts. Amblin's emotional state was healed to some extent when she began to date a new girl called Destiny. However, this only seemed to make things worse as she began to go months without weighing herself. Last time I weighed myself was over two months ago. And after only six months of being in this new relationship, Amblin explained that her weight had hit a new high. I weighed okay. in and I'm 455.0 pounds. I know every single time I come on here, I weigh more and more and more. The audience also began to observe that Amblin had adopted a significantly more obnoxious, unlikable attitude, which when combined Ooh. with her weight gain, led to a surge in people hating on her content. People are judging every move I make, even in the good... Well... <laughs> judging every move you make, you... You yourself made a weight loss channel and you gained so much weight. If they point that out, I don't feel like it is. It's like you're putting yourself out there, don't you? If I made a YouTube channel, Knut's way to, uh, to 90 kilo body weight and I started gaining weight and become bigger and bigger. If people point it out, is that, is that hate comments? No, it's just... Good things that I do, people find negative, and it's it's frustrating to me. At around the same point in time, with the assistance of various mukbang videos, Amberlynn experienced a significant increase in her subscriber count, although obviously this only gave her more incentive to eat, helping her to reach 482 pounds. Oh my fucking god. Muk <laughs> Weight loss channel. Mukbangs. Only six months after hitting 450. Things became even worse for Amblin when she'd announced that her new relationship had also come to an end, stimulating yet another increase. January 1st, I weighed 489.2. That is the highest weight I have ever weighed. Absolutely disgusting. 10.8 pounds away from five. 
hundred pounds I can't even like say that out loud that that is like possible for me to be that big it is scary and as a result of this gain Amberlynn decided to put her foot down and make a change once and for all okay Only let's this change say. wouldn't come in the form of a new diet or even a new exercise routine but it would rather appear in the form of a video announcing that she would no longer be stepping on the scale or tracking her weight loss journey whatsoever I well, you haven't started your weight loss journey yet. Oh, sorry for laughing, but it's just... No more weight loss journey. You, you haven't done any weight loss journey. I am done with my weight loss journey. Sharing my journey does not help me at all. It seemed as though Amblin couldn't bear to see herself hit 500 pounds, with this willful ignorance being spotted. Sharing your, way, your journey doesn't help? Like what? What? You just don't want to be held accountable for your bad decision. Don't read the comments. Being morbidly obese is more unhealthy than just reading a comment about rice or corn. Well, that is true, but still... Uh, like, none of these people would have even said this if she just... That this is what I'm trying to, this is the changes, I'm doing small steps, you don't need to do it. Like when you're 168 kilos like she was, you don't need to put in that much effort to lo to start losing weight. I'm just saying, it's pretty simple. Not like It is pretty easy with some simple steps, but if you start like doing the opposite instead, the habits are hard to change, that's why... You shouldn't just change everything at the same time. That's what I'm trying to say. It is hard to to uh, to do changes, but you can. That's why you need to do small changes. Rebranding, <laughs> rebranding, weight loss journey to mukbang channel. She has an eating disorder. Yeah, Maybe but you you immediately. you can get help with that as well. Her former title as a weight loss YouTuber had transformed into the new title of a weight gain YouTuber and with a steadily increasing audience, Amberlynn's inability to lose weight began to receive exposure outside of YouTube. She's a woman who started her channel at 350 pounds to motivate herself and others to lose weight. She has since gained over 200 pounds through excessive binging and delusions about what is healthy. She starts a new diet every few weeks and breaks them within hours. There are rumors that she can't fit into her own bathroom at this point and is mostly immobile. She's a train wreck. My fear of becoming like her has been a great motivation to continue this lifestyle, and it's not like this was the only person who was using Amberlynn as fuel for Ooh, their that's own weight loss journey. It's hard. I watch Amberlynn Reads videos on YouTube to motivate me to cut my portions down and work out more. Good lord, that poor girl. Not even 30 and she can barely walk due to morbid obesity. But while these people were able to find inspiration to continue on their weight loss journeys, Amberlynn Reed was doing the opposite. She'd begin her fourth year on YouTube weighing in at 400 97 pounds, which accompanied yet another optimistic resolution. My goal is not to go out to eat a single time in January. I'm gonna be pretty Nuke, much doing Nuke. like a very clean eating, and I'm just pumped about it. However, the the lab. Thank you for 33 months. Not a single thing in January. Like, uh, okay, now we can start giving some advice. This is the most stupid thing you can do as well. I'm not going to eat for one month. Not going to eat for a month. Or was it eat out? She was going to make all... Was she eat out? Okay. Uh, what's the difference if you ate it at home or out? That no, makes no difference. Audience already knew exactly what was going to happen. Amber is never going to lose weight. She's been doing this for years now. She'll be eating at Texas Roadhouse in two weeks. And with the assistance of her jumbo coke and chocolate movie theater diet, these comments turned out to be correct. So that means in one week I've gained 12... Pounds. However, it will be what Amberlynn did next that took her journey to a whole new level of degeneracy. She'd begin to use her weight as clickbait for new videos, proudly displaying her unhealthy diet in exchange for extra views, leading to the confirmation that Amberlynn was now over 500 pounds. I just keep gaining. I've never weighed this much ever. I don't even want to say it out loud. It's, it's weird. Um, it seems too real when I say it out loud. 
My weight today was 500.6. Well, who's actually surprised? We can look at it. And no, girl, you're not retaining water. You know exactly what you did. Way to make excuses. Retaining water did not make you 500 pounds. Eating 6,000 plus calories a day did. Well, we all saw this happening. Don't have to be that so raven to know you were gonna hit 500 pounds. The cycle continued with a brand new goal. My goal is to be 465 pounds by June 29th. Followed by... Okay, this goals doesn't mean shit at this point. They don't mean they're worth, they're not even worth the whatever they're written on. A brand new failure. Yesterday, I waited for you guys at my heaviest. It was 525 point something. Her weight had unsurprisingly gotten even worse by the following year. 567.4 pounds. And as Amblin creeped past 100,000 subscribers, she began to receive criticism from some of YouTube's biggest fitness influencers. For me, one, she has a recharge bar from Jenny Craig. It should be called a fat bar. In fact, there's more grams of fat in a recharge bar than a Kit Kat bar. Yet her response was simply that these fitness experts didn't understand who she was. Every video made about me is just horrible and rude and people just don't understand where I'm coming from and I feel like I'm very misunderstood. And it would be through this ignorant attitude that Amblin reached a whopping 572 pounds. However, in case things weren't already bad enough, only five months later, Amblin uploaded a new video announcing that she'd been diagnosed with cancer. So I got my result, my I results died, died. back and I do have cancer, I have a womb. <laughs> Which was extra frightening given her health. The reason why I'm really scared is because of my weight, which is also my fault. <laughs> so. I realized Amblin had hit uh, absolute bad. rock bottom. And while during the early days of her channel, she stated that she'd never get weight loss surgery, desperate times began to call for desperate measures. So I have been putting off calling a weight loss doctor for months now, but I don't know what came over me. I just did it. I um, called a weight loss place that I know about. Amberlin stated that one of the worst parts about getting the surgery was that her views on YouTube would likely decline. Do I think I'm gonna lose viewers by getting weight loss surgery? And honestly, by me losing weight, I will lose re viewership. And that she'd need to lose a bunch of weight prior to the surgery. At the size that I am, they won't be able to do weight loss surgery. Prompting Amberlin to lose a whopping 89 pounds in only a couple of months. I weighed in today. I reached a new lowest at 483.0, so that means I'm officially down 89.4 pounds, and I'm ecstatic. Although, for whatever That's reason, Amberlynn never got the surgery, and instead, as you might expect, put the uh... weight back on. That would be until just a few months ago, when Amberlynn announced that she had finally picked out a weight loss surgeon. How I'm feeling now it's is not for everyone, but... I'm ready to take that step. I already know what surgeon I want to see. Yet it was going to be incredibly expensive. It comes up to $23,000. And as a result, she's currently saving for the procedure while waiting for her. I can tell you, if she has 500,000 views on her YouTube, on weekly, multiple videos weekly, she has those 23,000 already saved up. I'll just tell, say it like it is doctor's approval. Amberlin currently weighs in at 508 pounds. Does it still make YouTube? <sighs> she doesn't get that many views. Let's see. Okay, she doesn't get that many views anymore. My guess is she probably makes $7,000 a month in that range. She gets taxed more than Norway though, still today. Yeah, I see this viewership that she has now. Plus minus $7,000 a month. Did she have more viewers earlier? She's steady up a pretty good amount of views. She's putting out a lot of videos as well. Confirm. She spent 6k a month on food, probably. Or... <sighs> With this eating disorder program, they want me to eat what I want, when I want, what I'm craving without binging. So what I actually wanted was a 20 piece nugget, a large fry, and a McFlurry. I like to get an Oreo McFlurry with fudge. It's so good. So that's what I really wanted. Okay. And that's what I was craving. 
And that's not a binge for me. I know for a lot of people it might be, but I'm just letting you know a large fry and 20 piece nugget is not a binge for me. Um, a lot of people. Okay, but okay, for me, for me, 50 nuggets and five large fries is not a binge. That's what I eat on a daily basis. You have seen me, right? I eat a full on big pizza and then I go. And then yesterday, after eating Jeanette's pizza, I went down to the place. I bought the chicken roll and with a to go pizza to take home that I had in the evening. Like, you, you can. You can say that all you want, but it still is binging. Sorry, Bilal. Sorry. I'm actually not okay, but it, my point being is, right? You need to level up your McDonald's intake. No. You see my point? You can't just say, for me, that is not binging. Then you replace Carl. Yes, official rain, I know, but you, you see my point? It's, it's a joke, right? Just say... Well, actually eat that as a meal. That's why it is sold as a meal. But um, no, not a binge. Um, is it overeating? Yes. I feel like most Americans here in the USA <laughs> do overeat. And that's why our portions are so huge. But not a binge again. Let me repeat. Not a binge. So that's what I really wanted. That's a big copium. That's a big copium. But then when I was like thinking about it and I was like, oh my God. Like, that is my full my day <laughs> of calories in one meal. And I just can't. Like, I literally can't. Because the things that I want, the things that I'm craving, um, it takes me a little bit more to get full than the average. What about not being full all the time? Have you ever considered? Did they ever give you that advice? Did they ever tell you that? You might have to handle, since you have had your share of food, you have been overeating for years and you're used to just pumping your stomach till it almost explodes. You might have to get used to a different feeling or just want healthy fiber. Yeah. Comment or video. No, I'm just saying. I'm never going to lose weight if I don't count calories. I have to eat less. Yeah, that is true. That is correct. To lose weight, you have to be eating less calories. It's that simple. So true. It's just been really like. <sighs> that is correct. I don't know. Hard for me and confusing because. I feel like this is all I keep talking about, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is a bit. <laughs> While you're stuffing fries, like there's, it is so easy to have better food choices. I bet she could lose weight without even feeling hungry. If she just chose better foods, she would still feel full, at least in the beginning, and lose a lot of weight. Correct. High volume, low calorie food. It's a big part of my life right now, so. Level 7 Rogue is completely spot on. She seeks pleasure and is enslaved to food. She needs mental help and to replace eating just pressure with something healthy. Correct. Oh. Knut, yeah, period. I think that is too hard for her, Bilal. When you're at this point, yes, it is easier said than done. I'm telling you. That is the best way to eat a nuggie. I love a good nuggie. I love a good nug. <laughs> Thanks, won't it? She's 
Who doesn't want it? I'm just going to put them in here. This is how I like it. That is such a fucking copium. That's fine, Dirkie. This is such a copium. That is just how I like it. As a guy that has been on a diet that is so hard that it feels like you're going to die. I'm, I almost get a little bit mad. I'm almost getting or annoyed is the correct word. Don't get baited. But it's just so... Uh, you don't even need to suffer. You just need to not stuff your face all the time. And then it's Did fixed. You My cat. Oh, there she is. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Her two most favorite things in the world. No, I'm not helping. She is putting up chicken nuggets from McDonald's and ice cream. For everyone else in this world, the rule is you can't always have what you like the best. I'm dead. Oh. Yep. I noticed doing mukbangs like I'm such a messy eater. That's a part of a mukbang. This is a medium fry, by the way. I usually get a large. What about not getting fries? But I didn't I this time. Not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. Two and are stuck together. To that creeps me out, but <laughs> we'll embrace it. Well, I can't pet you right now, baby. I'm using my fingers to eat. I promise. Oh. Do, do, do you know what? This is such. This is all bad habits just put into one video. That's what it is. This is like. And and you know what? I'm all for people can do whatever the fuck they want. I am. The people should be able to do whatever the fuck they want. But the problem is here. You have two sides. On one side, yeah, enjoy eating. Uh, Eating all of this food, oh, that's the best I want. Yeah, fuck it. If you just want to live like that, do it. That's, that's your own, uh, that's your own choice. But on the other side, don't make a fucking YouTube channel where you said my weight loss journey. Uh, I'm going to ho hold myself accountable. This is how I lose weight. And then you start doing Mac McDonald's mukbangs at the same time. Seven K easy. Be right back. Back in action. What I was trying to say is, <laughs> I promise I'm not trolling. Is the comments locked? No. Do your guys' ears ever ring? I think I was told this by some old folks. Okay, what did I say? When I was younger, where if your ear is ringing randomly, that means someone is talking about you or thinking about you. Maybe the people watching your video. Or something. That's what you mean. Uh -huh. you feel... I don't know the text that I was you. And then if you some... dream of someone else, that means oh, yes. they are dreaming of you too. Do you guys believe in stuff like that? 
don't no. know. Lies. Doing well, Knut. My man. Or. You know how sometimes randomly you get the shivers? Like a wave of chills? <laughs> I always say, oh, sorry, someone just walked all over my grave. I don't know who told me, but. Carbs become alcohol in your body. I read, is that true? Yeah, if you eat enough sugar, you will get really drunk. A good way for kids to get drunk, right? Supposedly, if you get the uh, the chills, that means like in the future, someone like stepped over your grave at the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what will you do if she came to Norway and wanna start to oh. uh, be a starter gym? And have you as a personal trainer that's after some days you saw that you're eating McDonald's, what did you do? I tell her Type that isn't deal. smart. Alright. Hi, baby. Oh my god, I know. What happened to Jesse? Nothing happened mm -hmm. to him. I'll give you lovin's when I'm done. She's so sweet. Mm -hmm. I think we're done. I'm gonna have one more of these just because like obsession. Will that be one more? For four pieces is only 15 calories. Ma'am? Hello. Hi! Let mama wash her hands and then I pet. Yeah. So. She will actually not have one more. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Um, we'll see how this uh, calorie count and situation goes. Put the crumbs in this. I'm going to go give my cat some loves, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ay, ay, ay. Read the comments. You're struggling to breathe while eating nuggets like a toddler. What absolute inspiration. <laughs> or... Oh, she sounds much like our nut. We're getting uh, to the good part of the cycle. Wait till she blames us for gaining weight. I love this part. I'm actually impressed how little she cares about her own health. <laughs> this guy has been there for a while. He has been there for a while. Oh, I'm sorry for laughing, but it's just... Uh, it's a tragedy, trad I don't know, how the fuck do you say that? It's fucking sad and fun at the same time, at least. Tra... Tra... Uh, trag? Tragedy. Tragedy. G. Not G. I fucking can't even talk today. I'm, 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 I'm even worse. It's a tractor, Knut. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. Oh my, are you okay, Knut? Okay, man? No. I'm, uh, my head is thinking about food right now. Fatty brain. Stroke. It's amazing she was able to find a dietitian who supports eating fried butter and fries. Even when you want, no, whenever you want. In whatever quantity you want. <laughs> she didn't need to count calories and eat whatever she wanted without educating her on nutrition. Now she's back to continue to counting calories because despite being told not, uh, not uh, to because what? She has her PhD in nutrition and dieting and knows better than anyone else. Yeah. Eat a shit ton of carbs, fats, sugar, don't exercise 
and in a year amber will be a sw swelt swelty pin up girl what, what does this word mean it doesn't even translate to nor to norwegian slender and uh, did it say under i didn't see it, it means thin okay rinse repeat should we watch another video Ooh.